Things were tough to get out. KO! All right, yes, we finally got to the good part. Here is the spoon mid pipe box. Yeah, let's open this sucker up. Let's see what we got in here. There it is. Not much, to be honest. Probably not gonna look as shiny, so and of course it also comes with the hardware. The axle back should at least came with these so you can replace those, but I guess the spoon sports expects you to buy the mid pipe with the axle back all together. So then the hardware comes with the mid pipe and you could use the new hardware for the axle back there. So we have these two bolts here that connect to the axle back and the mid pipe. Um, and we have the two springs here. And I'm assuming these are the gaskets right here as well. And then of course those three hideous nuts that I hate, it took me forever to remove, but these are fresh. So hopefully it won't ever be that hard anymore because these are brand new. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. I finally removed the three bolts or the three nuts, I'm sorry, on the uh, header side or the catalytic side. Uh, that there, I just have it there, that one nut, this one, I just have it there to hold the the whole mid pipe and then you can see it goes all the way in the back there and once this camera focuses you can see it's disconnected from the n1 spoon exhaust as well and uh, so we're ready to go i finally did it it took me like two hours to do this um and uh we finally got it done man i can't wait to get this thing off and put the new shiny spoon mid pipe here so with that being said, I'm going to uh, take a wire brush and try to take most of the rust off of these uh, bolts here. So whenever I put the new hardware, it doesn't get stuck as much, hopefully. So we'll do that as well. It's gonna fall off. Oh, it's officially off. Let me just brush these. Let's so I just need to remove it from the hanger and then we throw in the mid pipe, the spoon sports mid pipe, and we should be all good. Let's go ahead and take the hanger off. So there it is, the before and after, that's the stock exhaust, the ugly looking one. And then the new one is obviously the shiny looking one, that's the spoon and one exhaust. And it looks all shiny, but in a couple of months, it's probably gonna look exactly like this if you don't you know, keep it clean. Um, but as you could tell, it's a tad bit wider as well. 
So uh, I'm sure that Spoon Sports did their homework and that little bit probably makes a huge difference at, uh, at the high, high end of the RPMs probably makes a huge difference I'm not really sure but uh, I'm excited to have it on there because this mid pipe here when I installed the axle back let me see here I actually stripped one of the bolts here so you can see you can see right through this one right but I stripped this one and it stayed in there so the hanger was really only connected by one screw so that's really what made me buy this uh, mid pipe here so I could get rid of this and actually have it fully connected and uh, hopefully have no exhaust leaks from now on so uh, yeah and then also uh, as far as this hardware goes I'm gonna reuse all of this and because I was gonna reuse the gasket from here and leave the gasket on the catalytic side but honestly I'm gonna just reuse all the gaskets have everything fresh this is the only one that I have a question on it's this one here the circle i don't know how i'm gonna, i think i'm gonna have to take uh like a pick remove the old one and then slip this one on there but uh yeah let's see how it goes that's what i'm gonna try to do see if it actually works out and obviously we have a new gasket that goes in here right on there and the hardware of course i'm gonna use all that stuff there because this is no fun all three of them too all three of them i had to extract hammer in use fire all that good stuff so i'm definitely using all the new hardware um but yeah all the hard stuff is done now all we have to do is just install this mid pipe first things first is we're going to try to remove the catalytic side gasket uh which is that o-ring um, and let's see, I haven't, I've tried to do research to see how you actually remove this, but nobody seems to have some sort of write-up or a video of it. So I'm going to just remove it the way I think you're supposed to, but we'll see right now. Okay, let's see. It's on there. Hey, we got it off, finally. Oh, I need to stop cursing, totally messed it up. And it's definitely not a, it's not a rubber type of material. It's more like a, it's like a wire. So um, it was in like this. So I have to make sure I put it in, cause I know there's a, two different sides. I have to make sure I put it in correctly. Yep. So this is the new one here. You can see it, and in the back, I don't know if you could see it, but the back side has a stripe right there. Uh, I'm not sure if you could really catch it on camera. Yeah, there you go. There's the stripe right there. So that's the one that's facing the catalytic side where that line is. So it's going to be going in like this, just like that. But I'm going to get a, a a wire brush right now and I'm going to clean it a little bit before I reinstall. Okay, I think that's good enough. So let's go ahead and reinstall this here go all right it's kind of in all right this is kind of bulging out a little bit so we'll try to So I'm guessing when I put the mid pipe and I tighten it up, it should 
kind of close this up a little bit better and kind of sandwich it and prevent leaks that way so i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna go ahead and send it and install it this way right here like that so the next step is bringing in the mid pipe before i do that i'm gonna have to install this uh gasket on the actual back side gasket is in I also need this hanger as well A little WD-40 on the hanger and this works wonders right here makes it pretty much an effortless job to take off see what I'm saying just like that Boom, there it is, out of there. One, two, pretty easily. And then just go ahead and reinstall it back into, or onto the spoon exhaust. And there it is. So we got everything transferred over. We're gonna go ahead and install these guys now. So the nuts are in on the header catalytic side here with the new O-ring as well. Everything was tightened by hand as far as I could possibly put it. Um, and then as we make our way down, let's see, as we make our way down, boom, boom, boom. Let's see, the pipe goes all the way. And you can see the mid pipe right there. And the spring bolts are connected as well. They're tightened as far as I could possibly do it by hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it, uh, see if there's any leaks. So I'm gonna turn on the car and see if there's any leaks whatsoever. So we're gonna test it out right now. see there's no leaks whatsoever from what I feel top bottom so I guess that gasket install was a good install and then I already checked the rear as well so uh, we should be good to go let me double check it right now yeah there's no leaks as well here I already checked over the top on the other end as well uh, so we're good to go Good install. 